Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Avedon 2. We are still in the Ogre Stronghold within the Cactus Thicket. Uh, following after, or actually currently looking for the their head shaman called Hundred Claws. The Lord of Cacti. Oh, there's a hatchet. Uh, not a hatchet, a hatch. It's a different thing. Okay, ah, so... Will we open this from this side, or is this... Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, right, uh, this was closed before, okay. So that might be for a convenient exit, so we don't have to pass through this weird... Um, that weird chamber of, I don't know, what that was supposed to be, uh, that we had to puzzle our way through last time. Well, puzzle is really... Uh, too much, too much said about that. I don't know. I didn't quite understand why we did what we did, but it was easy enough to figure out. Ah, at last, you have returned to the to the entry cavern. Yes, indeed. Um, this time you are on the east side of the river. Hundred Claws is not here, and there are no guards. That's true. Well, there is someone. Uh, maybe you killed them all. Well, I didn't kill anyone here, so that seems unlikely. There is a crude arena to the north. And open... Thanks, pop-up. Uh, there is a crude arena to the north, an open and blood-spattered area surrounded by stalagmites. One creature stands in the middle of the field. He is an old titan, a huge burly creature patterned with the scars of a hundred battles, and best you can tell, blind. He stands in the middle of the arena and sniffs the air. He shouts, You can't hide from blind Zivron. I smell, I smell tasty flesh, tasty little human flesh. Like Hundred Claws said, when I find, I eat. Okay, good to know. Oh, and he's making... He's starting to patrol. Interesting. Well, it's not like I'm... Like I want to avoid him. Uh, excuse me, Yannick, why, why would you do that? This is also closed, okay? Huh. Still want to check out the surroundings before I engage him, just to make sure. There's an empty satchel and a scattering of papers. Apparently, I didn't see them, but uh, I'll I'll believe it. Uh, ogres aren't big into reading or writing. Oh, on on the table, I didn't even see the table. Okay, ogres aren't big into reading or writing, but something about this stuff fascinated them. The satchel matches the description that Silke gave you. Ah, okay. You look at the papers. Most of the letters are in code. The map, however, the maps, however, are of rebel lands. They are marked with symbols and areas uh, clearly meant to indicate the locations of camps, safe houses, and ca caches. These are rebel papers full of valuable information on the enemy. Kalida looks at the maps and shakes her head. Your friend, the scout, was carrying rebel messages? I hope we meet the Silke again. I have a few questions. You gather the papers up and put them in the satchel. Rockridge Keep at Avedon will be very interesting. That's true. Ah, okay, this... yeah, yeah. There is a table there. I don't know why I didn't pay more attention. Uh, Kalida stops walking to check her equipment. She examines her blade, her gear, her potions. All looks in order. I think our prey is close, and I want to be ready. Since what happened to me... Since it happened, sometimes I think I'm only at peace when I'm on the hunt. Um, that's very sad. Is it? Perhaps. I've learned to stop thinking about happiness or fairness. I serve the pact. That is what matters. Let's go. Hmm. Alright, so, thanks for the warning game. I get it. Blind Zivron has managed to detect you. Yeah, well, I didn't... Didn't really try to avoid him, you know. There, stay still, little meat thing. I'll end it soon. We'll see about that. Well, he is tough. Huh. I mean, I guess I was supposed to... to evade him, but... or to avoid him. But I think we should be good. He's taking... visible damage, which is good. He also stuns and deals AoE damage, which is not so good. Okay, what should I... try? Let's see here. Cloud of Confusion... Hmm, I could try that. Nope. Um, 
Okay. The constant stunning is kind of a problem. I give you that. Maybe I should just focus on dealing damage. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, they are both not stunned now, but uh, it's possible that they'll die nonetheless. Too bad I don't have any group healing uh, on him. That would be really, really useful. <sighs> Man. Okay, do I have something powerful here? Hmm. Ah, looks like one of ice is the most powerful thing that, that I have, but it's not really single target damage. So, I guess that's a no. A no no. Can. Hmm. I wonder if I could possibly kite him around. Maybe if I took a speed potion. Oh, that wasn't great damage. Ouch. Stunned again and dead. Both of them. Awesome. Well, that's just lovely. I wonder. Yeah, this is this is kind of bad. I could try to get away from him, maybe? Maybe if I did take a potion. Ah, oh, man, this sucks. I mean, I haven't done much, but I'd rather not reload. I feel like with just the tiniest bit of preparation, this is perfectly doable. Most of all, the uh, most important thing would be not to put... Um, yeah, you know what? Not to put uh, Kalida and Tantua both with him. Wait, what? Ah, oh, crap. Ah, uh, load. This one. I usually both uh, hard save and at the same time, just out of convenience. Guess I didn't this time. So, let's quick save. Let's quickly retrace my steps. I don't think I did anything, right? I, uh, well, I opened this. Already forgot what's what was inside. Ah, okay. Speed burst. Um, potion of healing. Was that in there before? Probably. Okay, so I have five scrolls of group heal. I guess I'll give... Hmm. I give two of those to Yannick. Um, there. Right. Just in case. This is locked. We've got our message here soon, yeah. Okay, he starts patrolling randomly, it looks like. Let's take a look at this. Elixir of health. Hmm. Oh, well, I give that to her. Maybe she can use it if she ever manages to not be stunned. Although, there is... I wonder if... If there might be, uh, if I might be forgetting about something that can protect me from from uh, mental effects like like stunning. Uh, yeah, that's sad. Okay. Okay, let's save again. I think I should have done everything I had done before. Okay. Right, this is the other side of the bridge. And, uh, yeah. As expected, there is really nothing here. Now, let's see. Um, well, obviously, Atantua could have done a lot more had he not been stunned together with Kalida. In terms of... Um... Abilities, he doesn't have anything. I mean, I have the Blessing Pylon. Hmm. Might help. Maybe I'll... Go here, start combat mode manually. Put down the Blessing Pylon. Shield... Get close and haste and war chant, sure. That should help. Just a little bit more preparation is really all that was needed. 
Now, if hmm, the enemy attacks him right away, it's possible that he'll charge for him. Arcane blessing, resistance to magical elemental poison and acid attacks. Two nearby allies is what it says, but I don't think it it used to work before. I'll try it, I guess. Nah, it only works on him. Okay, it did not stun her. Um, Bullflinger. We all got buffed. Some more. You try to stun him, I guess? He is stunned. Well. Okay, attack. Now she is stunned. That's less fortunate. Um. <laughs> I would like to attack him in melee, but his cleaving is kind of a problem. Should I risk it? Maybe if uh, if we don't stand close together, too close together? Oh, crap, I didn't even notice that he was out of action points. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, what else can I do? Let's just try dealing as much damage as I can. Not missing would also help, I guess. Blade Lash. He's slowed and ensnared, not that that really helps. Although, slowed means that he might skip a turn. He's also half dead. Keep attacking. I'd like to poison him if I could. That would certainly help. Nice crit. Ah, uh, well. I mean, so long as he only hits and, and stuns one of us, I'm kind of fine with it. Ouch. Uh, well, stunning blow. Uh, not stunning, just bash, whatever. Okay, uh, maybe I can save Otanto by doing this. Oh yeah, wow, that heals for a lot. Forgot about that. I can't even attack him. So I should definitely survive the next round and then he's gonna die. Especially if he su suddenly decides to attack Kalita instead. There we go. Not too bad, uh, but a pretty tough fight. Nonetheless. Shadow Mask. Wow, okay. Six armor. It's pretty good. Uh, chance to evade attacks. Also good. And hostile effect resistance, very uh, fittingly. Now, it does give less chance to evade, but double the armor. Let's see. Hmm, her helmet gives hit chance, and his gives intelligence. I guess this is just an it's it's an upgrade. Uh, all things considered. I mean, I don't know how how much of a difference 2% hostile effect resistance will actually make, but it's something. Did I... Did I get the papers, though? I forgot. Probably did. Probably just clicked through the dialogue. Um, but let's make sure. Lost Central... Uh, special items... Satchel of Records, okay. Gotcha. Okay, save again after that. Right, the passage opens up into the outdoors. You are in a tiny, isolated valley. Uh, no paths on the surface lead to lead into it. A natural spring has enabled actual grass and trees to grow. You take a moment to look at it. It's really quite lovely. But to the east, moving in the trees, you, s you can see ogres. The few remaining survivors of this tribe have come here to make their stand. Okay, I don't see them yet. Oh, okay. Chief Brawl, Seer Thylar, and Kurt the Thug. Gert. Gert the Thug. Huh. Oh, okay. That's three. That's not the Shaman, though. Not the one I was expecting to see. Seer Shaman Grove. Ah, oh, maybe he's here. Oh, 100 Claws. Hmm. 
Why are they separated like that? I mean, if possible, I'd like to... Yeah, not engage all of them at once. Alright, snare turret. The usual... Yeah, sure. This should only help. Try to daze them, although it's probably not... Wait, what? Did I try to daze the tree and it somehow cancelled out the entire thing? I think that's what happened. That's bullshit, but okay. Um... Well, since you can still act, I guess we shoot Gert the Thug. I would like to... attack the Seer first, if possible. Oh, sure. Attack twice. Yeah. Huh. Oh, that's... Well, that was unfortunate. I'll make sure to... Well, I'll try to make sure not to do that again in the future. Oh, come on. I could have finished off the seer like that. Not that these ogres are really very tough at all. In fact, they're pretty pretty laughable compared to, to the titan I just uh, took down. I'm also kind of surprised that the that hundred claws is not actually coming to join the fight. I was really expecting them to be linked in some way. Aw, oh, come. Come now. There we go. Way to go, turret. Alright, runestone of purity. Uh, increases dex. Those are always nice. Although, of course, these kinds of runestones, uh, being as, uh, in as short supply as they are, uh, suffer heavily from the too-good-to-use syndrome. Uh, seven of those, six of those, and... Do you even have any of those? I guess not, because I figured that spine shield would be better. Um, would be of better use, of more use on a... Uh, Malay character. One of calling, huh. Well, this might be interesting. Maybe I should give this to a Tantul, actually? Because, I don't know, uh, he's already summoning uh, a kind of minion, so there he has a another option for that. The box is full of small, gruesome trophies brought here by the Ogre Chieftain for safekeeping, as if he would care about his junk or his ego. One item, however, does stand out. It's a rusty iron key with a tiny ogre skull at one end. You keep it, though you clean it off on a bit of grass first. That's probably a good idea, both of those, both taking it and cleaning it. Okay, so that's most likely for either this or this door. Possibly both. So that's definitely something I'm going to check out some more. Are those traps? Oh, just some runes on the floor. Ha! Surprise! Didn't expect us to come from around here, did you? You are at the edge of a small grove. Uh, it is a, it is lovely here. Peaceful. Even ogres, as crude and violent as they can be, uh, can appreciate a bit of tranquility. One of them, one of the few remaining members of this tribe is waiting here for you. It is Hundred Claws, the shaman whose tricks have been tormenting you. At last, he has run out of places to hide. He slowly rises. As he does, the dozens of bones, fetishes, and other trinkets hanging from his garb rattle against each other. He turns to look at you. I give you no weakness, he says in a, in a slow, deep voice. You are Pact Invader. I am Hundred Claws. I will face you now. No begging, no running. I will not die weak. Um... Good. I don't care for pre-battle banter. Hundred claws nods. Agreed. He touches a golden pendant hanging from around his neck. Several creatures appear in the circle before him, warped beasts of the wild called by the shaman. Then he turns to face you. It is time. 
Okay. Uh, well. Alright, uh, what? Oh, my turrets still exist? Come on, and I can't recall them because... Ah, uh, that's bullshit. Just overwrite the, the the oldest one. I don't if I don't if I can't see them, I can't remove them, as far as I know. Well fine. In that case Oh well, I mean I could. Uh now I only have four left. I mean why not use this? There. Darkwood's Widow. Seems like a reasonably strong uh, minion, possibly. Okay, let's try the dazing thing again, huh? This whole dazing thing. Okay, good. Worked on all the ads. Ah, right, I can control these this kind of ad or minion uh, manually. So, why don't you go there? Do you have any abilities? Yes. Poison Mist? In a cone of webs. Wait, is this unlocked? Oh, it is. Huh. Okay, wait a second. A rain of poison mist damaging everyone in the area. Oh, uh, sure. Don't mind if I do. That's some... not terrible damage right there. Character is cursed with immobility. Okay, great. One of your blows has scratched Hundred Claws. Yeah, that must have been the razor disc I just threw. Uh, he looks up at the sky and lets out a long, anguished cry. You wouldn't expect such a mighty ogre to react that way to a little scratch. Then you realize what is causing him such pain. Something tears its way out of his chest. It is a wolf, a spectral wolf, which rips itself out of Hundred Claw's own body. The freakish creature, which contains some of the ogre shaman's own spirit, then tries to run away. What? That's... Ah, the spirit vessel. Okay, so this is the gimmick of the fight. I was expecting something to be going on with these, uh, well, suspicious looking patterns. Okay, so he's trying to run away. Uh, if possible, I'm not going to let him. So, this is actually a good position to be in. Triumphant roar again. Uh, did not affect Yannick, unfortunately. Oh well. Let's see here. I could do something tricky like this, right? This is a cone attack, this is a, a circle attack. Yeah. So by doing this, I still have points left to attack normally. Okay, sure. Go ahead and block your own ally's path. He's, tr he's healing his spirit vessel, that's actually kind of interesting. Okay, uh, ah, right. The Widow. Nice. And she corrupted. That's pretty good. Unable to move still. And... Ah, okay, now I could. Do that. I wonder if all I have to do is actually kill the spirit vessel. You destroy one of the Shaman's Spectral Wolves. Okay, Hundred Claws lets out another cry of agony. Part of his spirit has been forever destroyed. Yeah. Take that, man. Okie doke. Oops. Here. Oh. No quick, quick spells for... Um... That's okay. Wow. Uh, stop taking damage, please. Well, you're not not poisoned anymore, but let's see here. Heal self. You can't really move right now. You can try to challenge everyone. Use Ice Storm for some really good damage. You take one step. Uh, five more turns. Well, these have a long cooldown. Unfortunately, Widow can't move anymore. 
Um, do I even need to put down another turret? Well, it might not be uh, a waste. Okay, there we go, another spirit vessel. Hmm, I'm not sure I can actually stop it this time around as much as I'd like to. If it's if it's trying to run for one of these uh, spots for some reason, which is kind of what I'm assuming. Um, cavalry, war cry. I guess I could war cry. I could attack one of the wolves and possibly finish one off, but I guess I'd rather. Um, you know, affect the the enemies that are actually important in some way. Okay, I could try Cloud of Confusion. Ah, uh, I forgot that it's not a targeted effect. Well, that's unfortunate. Ouch. Wow, okay. Yannick is suffering. The spider is surprisingly powerful. Actually, the spirit vessel is probably going to die next turn from the poison alone, or corruption effect anyway. Okay, I can move still. So I guess I'll... Hmm, I could finish it off reliably, but... Pretty sure it's going to die either way. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Finish off the wolf. The wolf, as it were. Hmm. You can't heal yourself. I wonder. He might die if if Hundred Claws uses another AoE thing. Okay, this was pretty good. Ugh. Okay, he somehow survived that. Um you stop him. I could have moved. Can't anymore. Hunter Claus is starting to grow weak. His skin is pale and his whole body is sh is starting to shake. He raises his staff with a trembling hand. Creatures of wood and stone, aid me final time. More wolves appear in his summoning circle. Oh. Those are creatures of... Of wood and stone? Hmm. Oh, also this is not good. <laughs> Um, not good at all. Oh, I know what I would like to do. I don't know if I'll get a chance. Um, well, 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 well. Can't really do much at this point. Well, you can move in for the kill here. Stun resisted, of course. Okay, Yannick, you kind of need to heal. And you're also kind of out of uh, AoE effects, unfortunately. I do have some of these things left. Maybe, uh, no. Uh, I, maybe if I use one of my stronger ones and hope for a good roll. Good dice roll. Uh, it's a cone attack. So, okay, this would actually hit everyone. Eh. Not as great as I hoped. And now all the wolves might actually come after him. Which would suck. Oh, hello there. Nice. I could finish him off here. Oh, so close. So close. There we go. Hundred Claws collapses to the ground. He has expended too much of himself in the battle. His skin has gone white. His eyes are glazed over. They are open, but he sees nothing. You watch the body, waiting for one more trick. Nothing happens. Soon he stops breathing. The true leader of this tribe has been destroyed. You have gotten revenge for their attack on packed lands. Your victory can be reported to Commander Odile. Nice. Oh, the wolves are still there. For some reason I thought I, I had seen them disappear, but... Obviously, that was not the case. Ok, 
Okay, we stop that wolf. Ah, oh, almost dead, but yeah. Okay, good. Turret took care of it. Way to go, spider, man. This is a really, really powerful companion. Wow. Pendant of power plus two to strength. Huh. Well, I got one with dexterity, and she has one with plus one strength. The thing is, uh, I think at this point I profit more from strength, because I am trying to focus on melee fighting, so... There's that. And he has extra crit chance, okay. That's not bad. Alright. I think we're done here. Uh, well, done with the main mission. We did find that key. I have not forgotten about that. So let's... Whoops, let's not click outside the window. That's uh, rule number one. Rule number two is you don't talk about clicking outside the window. No, wait. Ah, yeah. So this was the key for whatever is down here. However, we're going to check this out next episode. For the time being, I thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please hit the like button. That helps a lot. And um, yeah, I'll see you real soon. Uh, have a wonderful time until then. And bye-bye. Uh,